Today I'm gonna show you how to do the Y2K logo aesthetic and how to turn it into this 3D chrome look using only Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop in just a few easy steps. Let's go. Yo, what's good? It's your boy Dixon from Intuitive Designs. Now, before we jump into the tutorial, you will need two things. First, you'll need this font called Giga. It is a free font made by Hunter. Um, he's a pretty famous designer on Instagram, and I'm sure you've seen his work somewhere before. Second, you'll need this Photoshop plugin called iCandy. It's what makes the 3D Chrome look you've seen at the beginning of the video. Download links for both of them are in the description below. So pause the video and get them set up before we begin. All right, guys, so once you got everything set up, we can now create the Y2K logo using Adobe Illustrator. The canvas size is A4, but really it doesn't matter, you know, since it's all vector anyway. Now, this is a workspace that I am using. If you see yours, it's a bit different, then just go to this workspace button and then select Essentials Classic. Then we should have the same layout for easier follow. All right, first off, I'm gonna use the type tool, click on the canvas, um, bump the size up to 100. And then go to the character panel, type in Giga, and then just select the font. Now I'm just gonna type in something random like hybrid. Obviously you can type whatever you want. It won't affect the tutorial at all. Now there are three aspects that make this a Y2K logo. First, you will need a rounded font as the base. Second, the logo needs to be italic or slanted to the top right. Third, you will need to create the outline of the logo to really sell the Y2K look. Since we already have a rounded font, we're just gonna skip to the second step, which is making it italic. It's very easy, just click on the font and then click on this free transform tool. Make sure it is the first one selected and then just go to the middle here and drag it to the right. That looks good for me. Then we're gonna commit to this shape. So just right click and then create outlines. Now the font is not editable anymore. It's now just its own individual shapes. So let's unite them all by going to the Pathfinder window and then click on this unite button here. All right, so now guys, we're gonna create the outline, but the next few steps are gonna be quite confusing, especially if you're new on Illustrator. So don't skip any of this part right here, guys. First, we're gonna turn the logo into compound path. So go to object, compound path, and make. Then we can now add the outline by going to object again, but this time we're gonna go to path and then offset path. Now in the offset settings, make sure round is selected under the joints drop down. As for the offset setting, I'm just gonna go with six. Now the reason why we turn this into a compound path is so that the outline won't intersect inside of the letters and it'll also be a separate layer as you can see here. So yeah, let's turn the logo to white so that we can see the outline better. Click on it and then just go to the color box here and then select white. There you go. Now we're gonna create the drop down, I mean the drop shadow effect. First go to the layers window and then turn the layer off. Then click on the outline shape and while holding on to the option key on your keyboard, drag it diagonally to create another copy of the outline. Now the problem with this is that it doesn't look realistic. It lacks that 3D extrusion in between these two shapes. So to achieve that look, go to object, blend, then make. You can see now there's another one in between these two shapes that we made earlier, but we're not done yet. Let's go back to object again, and then blend and blend options. 
under the spacing drop down select specify steps then we're going to manually key in the amount of steps in between these two shapes as you can see now that it changes depending on the numbers that i key in so let's just bump it up until it looks like a straight line now i feel like 16 looks good for me so we're just gonna hit ok now we're going to commit to the drop shadow just go back to object blend and expand now all 16 of the shapes have their own layers but we don't want that we're going to merge them all into one shape to do that it's very easy just go to pathfinder again and then click unite now they're all one shape so when we change color it'll be so much more easier later on we're almost done now guys let's just bring back the white logo first final step is just get rid of the white shape color because you see that if i drag the logo outside of the canvas it's not entirely transparent we want the white area to be transparent so you know it's easier for us to change colors and add effects and whatnot so it's very easy just go to pathfinder and then click on minus front which is the second button here right guys so the tough part is now over we can start adding the y2k elements into the logo i've made a y2k icon pack that you can use for this tutorial there's also a free version of it available on my store download links below so go check it out in return please like this video it doesn't cost you anything but it means so much to the growth of this channel if you want to get more free stuff please support back now this part is completely up to your creativity i personally like to add this oval shape circle whatever you want to call it around the logo and then just add a star somewhere over here you're gonna make sure it is italic as well you can of course add more elements to make the entire logo even better but for the sake of this tutorial i'm just gonna keep it short and simple we can now move on to the next part of this tutorial So guys, part two of this tutorial will cover the chrome and stylization of the logo. But before we continue, here's a quick word from today's sponsor, Envato Elements. I've been using Envato Elements for more than a year now and there's no day go by when I don't hop in there and get me some assets like this, this, this and this Envato Elements is the ultimate place for us graphic designers with more than 50 million assets available at your disposal you can easily select the category from the search bar type in what you need and from there you can filter your search even by colors my personal favorite on the platform is of course the 3d library where you can literally get anything for your projects it's even better where you can choose the angle suitable for you and download it as png file with transparent background with envato elements you get unlimited downloads with only one subscription so click the link below to get 50 percent off an annual subscription giving you total access for just 16 dollars and 50 cents per month now let's go let's create a new file so put 3000 for the width 2000 for the height leave it 72 for the dpi change the color mode to rgb and then change the background black then create now you can open the ai file of the y2k logo we made earlier just gotta make sure that it is sized accordingly to the canvas size that we just made first we command a to select the canvas and then command c to copy and then go to the new document and command v to paste let me invert the color so that you guys can see it better then we convert the logo layer to smart object now here comes the fun part i'm gonna use the eye candy plugin that we installed just now so just go to filter exposure software and then eye candy now this is a plugin that i've recently discovered it really saves me a lot of time especially when i want to do that um, 3d chrome look for my logo projects because you can see just how handy it is it's all been preset for you and there's tons of realistic chrome effects that you can use you can even play with the settings if you want but yeah for this tutorial i'm just gonna go with round office space it is just that simple i'm not even kidding guys there we go next we add a color gradient to the background layer unlock it first 
and then click the effects button here and select gradient overlay i've already pre-selected the color gradient and as usual the hex codes are on screen just copy and then create the gradient then you should have something like this and then just hit ok then we set the angle to 45 degree drag the scale all the way up to 150 and there you go now we're going to copy the gradient overlay just hold option key and then drag the effect from the background to the logo layer let me rename this layer so you guys are not confused there we go and let's double click on the effect and then set the blend mode to um, color dodge and then drop the opacity to 45. now guys final step is adding a noise effect so create a new document by clicking on this button and then shift delete to bring up this fill window select 50 percent gray for the content just hit ok and then go to filter noise add noise I'm going to set the amount to 20 and then Gaussian for the distribution. Lastly, we're just going to set the blending mode to soft light and drop the opacity to 40% and we're done. There you go, guys. It's actually a very simple effect that you guys can do to your own Y2K logo. Hope you learned something new today. Once again, please like this video and subscribe so you don't miss out on my content. See you again on the next one.